All right. And we are in our stress management section of May 16th, 2021. Um, do you want to do, what do you want to do today, Richard? Do you want to do deep breathing or? Well, as you remember, our topic today was panic. Right. Panic. And it's easy to get into panic. It's easy to think that, well, nothing's working, uh, and you've got a ton of things to do, and how are you going to get done what you need to do when you have all these symptoms and, and uncertainty and confusion? and feel pressured, and I, I guess it's like uh, Russian roulette because, you know, you, you, you spin the thing and, you know, what, what ends up is uncertainty, confusion, anger, frustration, and feeling pressured and feeling despair and boom, boom, and the time to do the stress management is to stop yourself. When that spinning thing is going, stop it! Stop it! Sit down! But what would you like to do? Tapping? Sure. Or breathing? Um, okay. <clears throat> well, tapping's better for anxiety. I think uh, breathing's better for panic. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it last week so let's do breathing this week and okay. just to sit down to focus because you know what what's going to happen is going to happen the next two minutes the next three minutes is not going to affect the outcome of your world but by taking three to five minutes to sit down and do the deep breathing you just might be able to direct what happens to your world instead of let your world determine what happens to you. So you do this when you feel that you can least afford time to do it because you're going to get where you're going to go when you get there and not a minute before, and you're going to get done what you get done and not a thing more. That's the way the world works. Like so that. you sit down. Robin's going to take deep breathing. Okay, well, you can also stand up if you don't have a chair you're comfortable in. As long as your body is straight and relaxed, your shoulders are down, and we're going to breathe from our diaphragm, which is in our belly. Uh, we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. We're going to breathe in for five seconds, hold for five seconds, and slowly exhale, pushing the air out with our diaphragm like a bellows. And, um, and we're going to breathe out for 10 seconds. And while we do this, we're going to focus our thoughts and our mind, either through prayer or affirmations. I mean, there's lots of ways you can do this. Um, even just words that carry power like joy and peace. So, okay, we're going to exhale. And we're going to breathe in, two, three, four, five. Keep your shoulders down and hold, two, three, four, five. And slowly exhale through your mouth and exhale the stress and exhale the anxiety and picture the parasites fleeing and breathe in peace and joy and hope. And hold that thought, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Imagine you have an army at your disposal, and it's clearing your environment for you. It's clearing your rugs and your couch and your chairs, and you're going to breathe in excitement and clarity four, five, and you're going to smile because that changes everything, four, five, and you're going to slowly exhale, exhale, and trust, trust that the diet works, 
trust that the you will get better and breathe in two three four five and hold and relax relax your muscles relax your mind and breathe out two three four five six seven eight nine ten one more breathe in two three four five and hold that thought hold on to hope and peace love joy and breathe out and release that stress release that tension release the hopelessness let hope take its place okay and take a deep breath and exhale and if you have water nearby have a drink of water because you're releasing the toxins that cause the stress or sister's tea or sister's tea yeah <laughs> i have sister's tea right here <laughs> The best tea on the planet. <laughs> it is. It really Thank is. you, Robin. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So do that. Deep breathing. Every time you come to a stop sign, take a deep breath. Just don't close and your eyes in the car. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> Yeah. When you come to that stoplight, take that deep breath. And because you're at a stoplight, you have to do three or four. Right. And then you can try to do more when you drive away. I'll bet you can't do more than three more and you'll forget. I bet you can't. See if you can prove me wrong. When you go to answer your phone before you answer it one long slow deep breath you'll be amazed the composure when you hear that text come in take that deep breath before you check it always remember to do the deep breathing Robin and I can give you a Cadillac but unless and the keys but unless you put the keys in the Cadillac you can't drive it or maybe you rather have a Mercedes or or a Tesla I don't know (laughs) Let's go electric. So there are a lot of car companies that are swearing to be all electric by 2024. That's exciting. So anyway, uh, time for what's our song for the day, Robin? Um, Well, I can give you an original or we could do the Happy Cell song. What would you like? Uh, You flip a coin. All right. I'm going to do this one then. Uh, okay. I think this goes really well with our subject today. It's called It's Gonna Be All Right. All right, yes. Let me fix this. Sometimes in the cool of the evening, sometimes in the heat of the day, sometimes when you're feeling down and lonely. You can hear the Savior say It's gonna be all right It's gonna be okay Through the darkest night He will light the way Yeah, yeah, so don't you worry don't you rest. You know the Lord is faithful, yeah. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please subscribe. You know, when, another thing you can do, um, I hope you've been doing your deep breathing and moving in uh, response to her uh, singing and playing uh, because it's, uh, it's part, of, part of healing, part of healing. And uh, subscribe to her channel because uh, uh, that's another thing. Uh, listen to things that you like to listen to. Uh, subscribe to YouTube channels that have the humor that you like. Uh, the music that you like and use that. You know, there was a, st there was a uh, uh, this fellow, he was uh, in the hospital bed. <clears throat> he was sick and he was depressed and he was hurting. And his wife came in and she felt sorry for him and he was hurting. And he, uh, I'm, I mean, he was just wallowing, wallowing. When he, what's that word? Wallowing in his despair. Yeah, he he, he was just he, he, like a like a pig in the mud, you know, wallowing in the despair. And his ex-wife comes in, stands at the end of the bed, and says, "Get your ass out of bed." You know what he did? Got his ass out of bed. <laughs> okay. If anyone would like to share, or. Uh, ask a question, uh, please text or call Chris, or we're going to close this segment and invite everybody to keep coming back. We're here for one reason, and that is for you to be able to say, because of you guys, I kept coming back and I got my life back, and I want to be your coach, one of your coaches. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Ethel. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, the universe. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, we're here for you.